Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com, coming to you live from a very hot and humid Menasha, Wisconsin. You guys, I really miss you last night. I hope that you had a wonderful Sunday evening. I see Charlene is coming in. Yay, Connie, welcome. So I was gonna post some pictures from our um, Father's Day celebration yesterday. And I thought I'd wait until after I did my live, but I have so many fun photos to share with you guys. Thank you so much for letting me postpone my Facebook Live from last night to tonight. I really had a fabulous time. And I might even have had a couple of margaritas, just saying. <laughs> and I know for sure that I would have never done that had I had a live last night. And then somebody at the party yesterday said, well, maybe you should try that. I thought, no, I have enough issues. <laughs> Could you imagine all this on margaritas? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think that would be just probably hysterical, but also possibly very annoying. <laughs> okay, oh, they have power out in Illinois. So, I was working outside by the pool today, and... Um, I was printing shipping labels for the Nothing's Better Than kit. So thank you guys so much for everybody that ordered those kits. If you did not order a kit, you definitely want one. And I did make up some extras. So um, you can find those on my blog, www.stampabove.com. The kit is $49. And if you'd like to add on the stamp set and the dies, it's 105 total. So just let me know. I made up a bunch of extra card packs. It comes with eight pre-cut cards, four different designs, two of each. They're really fun. Kits are really fun in general. Um, each one has a video tutorial to go with it. And if I do say so myself, they are stinking adorable. I love that bundle of product. And I thought, well, since I have a whole year, I might as well make up some extras. What did Connie say? Connie said, you should do your lives drinking a margarita. Yeah, Connie. <laughs> you think so, huh? I'm thinking that's not such a good idea. Oh my gosh. Oh, and Rhonda says they have storms in Hubertus. Well, that's not too far from us. You know, that's just down by Milwaukee. So I was outside by the pool and I shouldn't say by the pool. I was just sitting outside and that's where our pool is. And, um, uh, I was printing out labels, printing out labels, and it was thundering and thundering, and then it got super dark over to like the northwest. And I thought, oh, it's gonna downpour on me any minute. So I packed up all my stuff and took it in the kitchen, and it never really did rain. <laughs> yeah. So then I moved out to the front porch <laughs> and finished putting all the labels on the packages, got them all to the post office today. You guys are going to love these. I just know you are. I hope you do. They're super cute. So all the kits are in the mail as of today. Now, I do have another online class that I've been holding off on. And the reason why I've been holding off is because I just felt that I had too much on my plate. I needed to get everything out and done before I brought forth another item because I I just think that's a good plan, right? So I wish I had like a back scratcher because my back really itches. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> um, a, butter, a simple butter knife from my tool caddy over here will work. Okay, there we go. All right, sorry. <laughs> Real life stamping with Kelly, right? So um, anyways, my next online class that's coming out is the Artistry Blooms suite of products. And I'm going to have listed in there everything that um, you can either buy the suite from me as I list, not just the suite, but you're going to need, I think, I don't remember. But anyways, I'll have that all up on my blog. Um, you have the opportunity to order extra of that rainbow glimmer paper that's so pretty. But when you buy the suite from me, you get the online class for free with the pre-cut cardstock pack. So that's super cool. Hi, Sue Sorrell. <laughs> and um, otherwise, you can order the pre-cut cardstock pack in the online class. And I think it's $35. I don't know. But like I said, I'll get all that up. Or you can just order the online class. So if you are not in the U.S., you guys, don't worry. You'll be able to order the online class. This is my one class a month where I have that available. Hi, Tina Wilkin. I recognize your name. Did you get my email today? Check your emails. 
Um, I did not get a chance to check mine before I came on here live, but I did email you today asking you a question about the kit. So, um, knife in the back, Charlene says. I know, and it's still itching. Oh my gosh. I don't know what's going on. I'm very hot. It's very hot and humid here today, and I'm this close to turning on the air because I'm just sitting here sweating, but you know I don't like air conditioning. <laughs> Hi, Denise. I'm so happy to see you. We need to do lunch. Denise is from here in town. She's my friend that I went and stayed with in Arizona last year. Remember, not this year because that trip got canceled. Thank you, Rona. Yeah. Anyways, um... I have a whole bunch of mail to share with you, and I think I'm going to do that at the end. So I'm going to set this basket. Don't let me forget, though, you guys, okay? Because, geez, I get going and then I forget. But I do want to award prizes. So Connie says, I love your classes. Thank you, Connie. I'm going to pull myself up here <laughs> or destroy my office. Um, hang on a second. I'll show you guys what that was. Linda Morrison. Right? Linda Morrison. Let me make sure. Yep. This was the fan that just flew off of my shelf over there. So don't worry. We're safe. Nobody got hurt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I'm sorry. Donna said she missed me for the first few minutes because because of the technical gremlins. I know. So hang tight, you guys. I'll get to my surprise. It's, it's not really a surprise. It's just exciting news. Let's clarify that. Okay, I'm going to bring us up on my screen so I can see what's going on here. And a stamp above. Um, huh, hang on. There we go. I have to put it in the right blank or the right one doesn't come up. <laughs> Oh, and somebody just said they can't wait to see what I have up my sleeve for the Artistry Blooms. I have some beautiful, and can I just say, beautiful, unique, very cool cards. They're all made. I just have to shoot the videos, do the photography um, for the class. That comes later, but I will have that up in the next day or so, you guys. Um, I We had a little mishap today with, oh, let me talk, talk to you about little Miss Val. So little Miss Val and Haley were here today. And little Miss Val was not doing well in that she was crying and crying and crying and crying and it was just horrible and we, there was nothing we could really do to pacify her. I did take her out and on the swing and we swang on the swing and walked around and we looked at the flowers, but she was just, something was not right. So Haley had to go home. Poor Haley, she's like messaging me, Mom, I'm so sorry, because she's supposed to be finishing swaps for me tonight that have to be in the mail tomorrow. So, um, <laughs> I'm going to be working on swaps tonight, and I totally missed the mark on having to have the stamping tutorial, stamping society tutorial done, so I need to get that done tonight also, and off to my friend Ashley so she can compile it in our group. That's a tutorial that's going to be available July 1st, which I might add is Haley's birthday, and um, so I have to get that done tonight, I have to get the swaps rolling here so I can get those done at the latest tomorrow morning and hi Denise Denise Phillips um so yeah just lots of things happening and so Haley had to go home and um oh that feels good so I got a lot on my plate hang on we're gonna oh doesn't that feel good sorry you can't feel this Woo! right down the shirt the girls are hot <laughs> Nancy wants to know if it's teething or an ear infection. Well, she filled her diaper, Nancy, and I think that's what the problem was. Maybe a little bit too much information, but I think we're all adults here, right? <laughs> Haley told me she's feeling much better. So, okay, I'll turn that down for now. Enough, enough about my comfort. <laughs> and Claudia says, my birthday's coming up. You guys, my birthday's July 7th. What day is that? Hang on, I gotta look at the calendar. <gasps> It's not this week, Tuesday, but next week, Tuesday, is my birthday. Yeah, double nickels, ladies. I am going to be 50, let me see if I can talk, 55 years old. I'm darn proud of that. I earned every one of those years. <laughs> so, um, what were we going to do? We are going to award prizes. I have them all ready here. I always love giving away prizes, so let me see what's going on here. Um, here we go. 
I have a pack of copper dotted treat bags. Now, remember, if you're new to me, or maybe you're just forgetting the rules, <laughs> leave a comment, at least one comment as we're going along here so that you get entered for next week's drawings to win a prize. And this is for commenting. Um, Lynette Husted of Noblesville, Indiana is our winner. And Lynette, I think I need your address. So when you see this, you can pop me an email at kelly at a stamp above.com and send me your address so I can get these beautiful little copper dotted treat bags off to you in the mail. And <laughs> Anne says 55 never looked better. Bless your heart. I love you, Anne. <laughs> All right, next we have a share. And for sharing, you can click on that share button. Nancy just shared. Click on that share button right now. That really helps me grow my business and I so appreciate your help with that. I have tags and more accessory kit. Now, you can't see it, but there's a whole bunch of colored tags in here. They're upside down. All these little clips, some baker's twine, and also some copper colored washi tape. Super, super fun. For sharing last week, we have Janice Carter of Odessa, Missouri. Mm, Janice, I don't know if I have your address. So if you're watching, give me your address. I'll try and I'll go look this up and see if I have that. I don't know if I have your address. So anyways, pop me an email. Thank you guys so much. I see everybody sharing. I really appreciate that. And then for placing an order from last week. Oh, hang on a second. I got to get this ready here. Meh. I have, can you believe it? I have one more ladybug set. And this was super duper popular. Let me get this out of here. And this was actually given to me to give away by Ingrid Harrington. Ingrid wanted me to give this to a lucky winner. And Linda McGee of LaPorte, Indiana, you are the big winner of the little ladybug stamp set. Yay! And I do have your address. I've got it right here on the back. I'm not going to show it to everybody. Well, maybe they'd like to send you a card. No, I won't. <laughs> so there you go, Linda. So when you comment here, share, and place an order with me, that's three different ways to win every week. Oh, Heather, thank you. Um, Heather, I just got your card in the mail today, and I'm going to share it with everybody. Heather sent me the most adorable little 4th of July card. You're going to love it. Okay, and then let's see. From last week, remember, we got to break the chain because I, I got $10,000 closer to my million dollar career to date sales. And I did the drawing. We've got one of these beautiful card kits here. And Marge Hazley from Kakana, Wisconsin, you are the winner. You're going to get this in the mail. Yay. These are gorgeous. Look at how pretty they are. These were a celebration item and they sold out super duper fast. And then, here's my exciting news. Are you guys ready? We get to break another chain. I have less than $20,000 to go, you guys, before I hit that million. Oh, so excited. Here we go. This is all that's left. And I already did the drawing for this. I figured with, you know, kind of the holiday weekend coming up, things might get a little crazy. I might forget. I have another kerchief card kit. And for um, celebrating with me and cheering me on, my winner is Lori Callies from Coon Rapids, Minnesota. This is coming your way. Yay! Yeah, so I hit that, I hit that next 10,000. I go in $10,000 increments. And um, I've got less than $20,000 to go now, you guys. Isn't this exciting? I know. I'm so excited. So I finally filled out all the information that Stampin' Up! sent me in a questionnaire asking like what kind of snacks are my favorites and what kind of designer purses I like. <laughs> I had Haley help me with that one. I'm not really a designer purse kind of girl, but I can be. <laughs> um, what else did they ask me? What kind of things I want to do when I go to Salt Lake City on my million dollar trip? So. Um, yeah, it was it was pretty cool. I got it all filled out online. I saved it, attached it to the email, and sent it. And the gal at Stampin' Up! said that the one that I attached was empty. And I was like, oh my lord, I can't fill that out again. But luckily, 
I don't close windows. So it was still on my computer so I could do some screenshots and send it to her. Like, oh my Lord, right? I was like, Bleh. I don't want to do this again. Because it's, it's, it's time consuming. You have, to, you have to think pretty hard about these answers, right? So yeah, and Deb says she can't wait to see the stamp set I designed. Yeah, I can't either because I really have no idea. Oh, Lori wants to know if I got my taxes done. I did. Yes, I did. Okay, so I went to my mom's house late Wednesday night. I got there, I don't know, probably 11, something like that, 11 p.m. And um, that was on Wednesday. So Thursday, I kind of goofed around. But um, Friday, I did my taxes. All I have to do is get my income side of it. I've got all my expenses totaled up. I need to make a couple phone calls. I don't know how much interest I earned on my, ch on my checking accounts. You know, it's like meh, minimal. But um, I have to do that and then get my income and I'm done with my taxes so I can go to my tax guy. So I accomplished that. And then all day Saturday, I think I worked like 15 hours on Saturday working on those kits. Yeah. And I got those done too. So I was pretty proud of myself. I got home Saturday night at about midnight. And then Sunday spent the day making food for the party. And you guys, it was fantastic. I was just so relaxed. And I know that if I would have done my Facebook Live Sunday night, I was ready for it. Like I had my projects ready. But I would have been just kind of like thinking about that and stressing a little bit. Like I have to watch my time. And, and you know, I'm going to have to go in the house and take a shower because I look like, you know, holy hell. Blah. Yeah. So I was really glad that I made the executive decision when I was on my bike ride. I'm like, you know what? I'm making an executive decision right now and I'm going to postpone my life. Yay! <laughs> so I'm glad you guys are here with me tonight. Lori's still working on her taxes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, and um, Linda's asking if they do celebrations during COVID and what else did she just say? Hey, can you do my taxes since you're done with yours, Linda? Not a chance. Things will burn. You know where. No. Um, and no, they are not doing trips right now to the home office in Salt Lake City. That's part of my award for hitting a million dollars. They are not doing trips right now. So I don't know when I'll be having that, but I'm kind of glad because I don't want to go in the summer. It's, um, it's my time to be home in my backyard, not out traveling around. But I do want to go camping. <laughs> We're going to go get our camper this week, I think. My summer home, you know. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, okay, so I am going to, thank you, Kathy Fennell. I am going to um, get my computer out of the way. Oh, and then I unplugged it. Oh, and here comes my fan. <laughs> Do you guys see this? This thing works. Like, oh, hang on. Oh, there's a button. Oh, there it is. It works really good. It's got three speeds. Feel all that. Oh, kind of like a movie star, right? Okay, enough about that. <laughs> okay, and did I just see, hang on, I think I just saw Deb Sedlinger come in here. Nice to be the boss, you can make executive decisions. Yes it is, Deb, and Deb was on the phone with me today and just joined my team, and I'm glad that I saw your name because tomorrow is June 30th. That is the last day to get the promotion. If you wanna join my team as a discount shopper or you can build a business but most people come in as a discount shopper if you would like to do that you get a free bundle if you do it before the end of tomorrow and um, so it's like you pay $99 you get to pick anything you want and product for that $99 plus you get a free bundle on top of it in a paper pumpkin kit and a 20% minimum discount on all your future orders if you're a stamper you should be getting your products at a discount from yourself so, if anybody's interested in that, I do have a link on the side of my blog that says $99 kit. When you click on that, it's going to give you all kinds of questions and answers, tell you all the benefits. Being on my team is fun. It is so much more fun to be part of something bigger than sitting at home stamping by yourself. We have challenges. We have color challenges, layout challenges. I do a live Facebook Live every Tuesday, question and answer for all of my team members. Um, I have a team meeting once a month. We do card swaps. 
it is a blast. So if anybody would like to join my team, I would love to have you. And um, tomorrow is the deadline to get that bundle for free. So you get something like, I don't even know what it is, $200 in free product. There's, we have a bundle that's like 60 bucks. So if you picked that bundle, and then plus a paper pumpkin kit, that's another 20, so it's 60, 70, 80, plus free shipping, and shipping on a $125 order would be $12.50. So yeah, it's like $200 for only 99 bucks. So there you go. If anybody has any questions about that, let me know. Don't wait until the last minute tomorrow. That's, it's crazy, because the website is gonna be bogged down and we could run into a lot of problems. The other thing that I want to mention, if you do decide to order that kit, the discount shopper kit, you have to be on a laptop or a computer. It doesn't work from your phone, your tablet, your iPad, your Kindle, and um, Deb and I, we talked about that today. <laughs> so um, just know that. Okay, and Sarah said she got her kit. Yay, good for you, Sarah. Okay, are we ready to stamp? I think we're ready to stamp. And... Haley, is it okay if I show everybody your box that you made for Jared for Father's Day? I don't think I we showed this yet, right? I think it's going to be okay. Um, Debbie, in the comments above, Haley gave my address. Um, I'll tell you again. It's 738 Depeer, D-E-P-E-R-E, -E -E, Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. I love cards. You may not know that about me. It's a secret. I just let it out. Just kidding. <laughs> of course I love cards. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, good. Haley said yes. All right. I was kind of waiting for Haley to come on and say yes. Okay. So as soon as I flip my camera around, I am going to show you the beautiful box that Haley made for Jared. And she says he wants it back. I know. <laughs> as soon as I show everybody, he can have it. That's kind of the way us stampers are, right? It's like, we want to show people. So, like, I'll give you this beautiful card, but then you have to give it back to me so I can show it to you guys. <laughs> I know, right? Okay. Um, oh, I didn't plug in yet. Hang on. Let's get this plugged in. How's my hair look? It looks pretty decent. I got this little wing thing going on right here because I, there is no way I could um, dry my hair today. I would have just completely melted. I'm not even, it would have, ugh because I'm still like kind of pretty sweaty. But I smell good, Steve said. Got that going for me. <laughs> Hang on. Get my cord up, little bit of wiggle. We're gonna flip the, flip the camera around now. If you get motion sickness, you may want to close your eyes and I will tell you when you can open them and then I'm gonna show you the beautiful box. Hang on. Hi, Laura Woods. Oh goodness that was a little more jiggly than normal wasn't it okay hang on we gotta get this all lined up here okay you can open your eyes we're still now okay you guys what do you think of this this is one of our mini paper pumpkin boxes look at how beautiful this is so Haley used the um hang on a second I don't want to tell you the wrong thing here the World of Good Suite on page 24 through 26. So let's just look at this first. This is the World of Good. This is an amazing suite of products for the men in your life or travel. Like look at the traveling scrapbook pages, right? Super, super fun. And here's the stamp set. And then the dies are really tiny. Isn't that cool? So World of Good, that's what she used here. And let me show you what is inside the little box. Now she's going to pin this down in here, but she didn't yet. Look at this. This The World of Good has a Memories and More cardstock pack. And so that's what she used. A lot of these elements are from the dies and that cardstock pack. It's got some die cut adhesives in it. Yeah, look at how cute that is. And then she's got, there's a very special bond between a father and her dad, a closeness which grows deeper through the years. It starts the very moment that his baby girl is born and strengthens as she shares her hopes and fears. <gasps> Here we go. Here's the next one. Oh my gosh, look how cute that picture is. Doesn't she look like she is just enamored with him, right? This is all 
throughout her lifetime, she is daddy's little girl. She looks at him with such adoring eyes. He teaches her about the world with tenderness and love. She sees her dad as gentle and wise. Isn't that cool? And look at that technique. Remember the technique we did? Yeah. Here comes the next one. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. And look at her little smile there. Isn't that funny? She was, he was really sleeping and she was smiling in her sleep. Yeah, Haley made this, you guys. It says, she knows she can turn to him on any given day, and he'll be there to help her if he can. She'll always make time, he'll always make time for her. That's simply how it is. She quickly learns that he is just that kind of man. And there's more. Here we go. As they... And as they travel on through life, their love grows deeper still, each grateful for the blessings that they have had, knowing without question that the greatest gift of all is the love shared by a daughter and her dad. Isn't this cool? I love the feather down here. This is one of the dies in this set. I think the world of you. There is no measure big enough for the amount we love you. Thank you for being the selfless, loving, and patient father that you are. Love, wifey, and Val. And this was his Father's Day present. Look at that picture. Is that not just the sweetest little thing ever? And again, this is part of that cardstock pack. The Memories and More cardstock pack is where a lot of these little elements are coming from. So this is a whole little accordion that folds right back up and goes into this box. How sweet is that? And of course, Jared absolutely loved it. So this is a just an amazing, whoops. Oh, hang on, I did it wrong. This is an amazing gift for any man, really. And I can tell you that a few years ago, my brother turned 50. It's been quite a few now, <laughs> but, um. I made him an album similar to this, and I had pictures of when he was a little kid on up to now, and he said over and over how that was the best gift that he has ever gotten in his life. A lot of people don't think men like this kind of stuff, but they do, and they, they appreciate it, and they know how much work goes into it, most of them, and he just absolutely cherished that album that I made him. I have a really funny one that I made Steve um, I called it a man of many hats because he has, I've got a lot of pictures of him wearing goofy hats. If I can find that, I'll show that to you guys too. Whoops, sorry, that was a punch. Just hit the floor from the fan incident earlier. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready to stamp. I'm going to let that sit right there while I get all my bits and pieces out. I have some fun cards for you guys tonight. And when I say fun cards, one of them's kind of punny and the other one's just stinking cute. And I'm using some brand new stamp sets. Where's my stamp set? Right here. Way to goat. I know when Haley saw this, when she first saw this stamp set, she goes, yeah, I don't know if I'm really into that. And I'm like, oh, I think it's just stinking adorable. And who doesn't love some funny little goats? So that's what we're going to be using. I got some glare here. I'm going to move that out of the way. And we're going to be combining it with the Artistry Blooms Designer Series paper. I love how colorful this paper is. And it just goes to show, this is going to be part of my next online class, this suite. Just goes to show that this paper works so well with just about anything. I love bright, colorful, fun patterns. I'm going to set that right over here. And by the way, before I forget, I'm going to set Haley's box over there. Um, this is my current host code. If you happen to be placing an order and your order is under $150, you want to use this host code. If your order's over $150, don't use that code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up, and I definitely want you to be able to have those and use them. So this is where you can find my online store is on my blog. There's an online ordering button right on there, and I always, always appreciate your orders. Also, you can go here in the right-hand column, look for that $99 kit button that'll tell you all about the discount shopper opportunity. Okay, here we go. We have a card base of Daffodil Delight. This is five and a half by eight and a half. 
we're gonna just fold it in half. I can tell you guys that the cardstock right now is like very wimpy because the humidity level here is insane. Very, very hot in Wisconsin. Okay, next I've got Blushing Bride. This is just a scrap. And then I didn't measure any of this, so that's great. This is the Designer Series paper, The Artistry Blooms. This is two and a quarter by four. I was right about that. Designer Series paper. And then I have a piece that is three quarters by four and a piece of Whisper White that's four by five and a quarter. We've got a scrap of black and then you need a scrap of white. And from that scrap of white, we're going to use the Stitch So Sweetly dies and cut out this rectangle. And this is approximately two and a half by three and a half. So I've already done that. The one thing I wanted to show you with this scrap is I needed, well, we'll get to that in a second. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna make a daisy. And this is our medium daisy punch. We have, let's see, we have a big daisy punch and a medium daisy punch. Love both of these. So we're gonna take the daisy punch, the medium daisy punch, and we're gonna punch out two daisies out of Blushing Bride, and Blushing Bride is not even a coordinating color, but it does go really well with the lighter pink in here. So you don't always have to be locked in to the colors that Stampin' Up! says coordinates with this paper. Look at that. Here's that pink. This goes pretty good with that. So that's why I chose it. I wanted a lighter colored daisy, but I didn't want to go with a white daisy. Okay, we are going to take the four by five and a quarter Whisper White. We're going to add the Designer Series paper to it. These are quick and easy cards tonight. And, you know, I love fun folds, but sometimes, hang on, I just got glue all over. Sometimes I really like an easy card too. Something nice and quick and easy. Okay, so we're just gonna put that right down the middle. We're going to take our daisy and I'm going to add a little bit of glue right here to the center and I'm going to stagger this so it looks like I have a much more substantial daisy here. And I see I just got a little bit of glue where I didn't want it. Oh, and then I need dimensionals. Did I mention that it's hot here? <laughs> I am so sweating and I'm not even having a hot flash. <laughs> it's warm. Okay, here goes a dimensional on the back of my daisy. And then we don't have a um, circle punch. A half inch circle punch works perfect to make a center for this daisy. So what I did is I got out this wreath builder set of dies and in here is a little circle die. We are resourceful, right? So I cut that out already here is the center of my daisy. Now, if you have a half inch circle punch, you go for it. But I'm gonna put this, this is basic black, and I'm gonna center it because, well, it looks kind of stupid if it's not centered. All right, yeah. So yesterday, it was pretty funny because all the guys were playing, and some of the girls were playing bags or cornhole or, you know, where you toss the bag and it goes on this wood thing and falls through the hole. It was pretty funny because Steve was killing everybody. Like, he was hitting it. He kept throwing it and it would go in the hole. And so everybody was teasing him that he must get up early before anybody else is up and practice the bags and then put them away right away so nobody knows that he's practicing. We thought that was just hysterical because that's the last thing he would do. But it was pretty funny. Okay, here comes our little goat. I'm going to take this little goat and I'm going to stamp him or her. I tend to think this is a boy goat. I'm going to stamp the boy goat right here on my rectangle. Look at how cute that goat is. Just really adorable. And that was Memento Black Ink. Now I'm going to bring in Smoky Slate. And you have this little ground stamp. And I'm going to stamp that right under my goat. 
Wow, I did really good on that, if I do say so myself. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to see if I can set my fan up. I think I'm going to have to turn on my air. This is making me very sad. I don't like air. Oh, there we go. That works good. Okay, then I brought out the light flirty flamingo, and I'm going to color my daisy. And that's all I'm doing here. Like I said, this is super quick and easy. Um, the other thing that I want to do, you should probably do that before you glue on this paper because if I flub this up, we get to start over. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you know. Oh, I did really good. So if you flub that up, like I've already glued, glued my paper down, you should stamp that first. Okay, we're going to add some dimensionals to the back of this. Oh, and somebody said they made a recipe album for their son. That is another really fantastic idea. I did a recipe album for all the kids. I don't think Haley got one, though, because she was little. Um, I made a recipe album with my the kids' favorite recipes in it, like recipes that I made for them growing up. And um, it was really cool. They absolutely loved it. Okay, here comes our little goat. I'm just going to center this above this paper, right? And then here is our little daisy. I'm just gonna push that right in here. Is that not simple, you guys? That is so simple. I could make a ton of these. Maybe this will be my thank you card for orders. We'll see. Here we go. And then, hang on a second, I gotta get... I don't have any Whisper White cut up for the insides of my cards. I forgot to do that. So here we go. Here comes an inside layer, four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to take this little sheep, or goat, not sheep, goat, and put that little goat right down there at the bottom. And it's just kind of a funny little decoration for the inside of our goat card. Oh, and by the way, that sentiment says, you're the goat, greatest of all time. <laughs> Just a little, little funny thing there. You could send this to anybody for anything, right? Look at how cute that is. Love it. Okay, so that's our first card. Let me move this out of the way so we can get our next card out. Oh, and by the way, this is called Way to Goat. And we've got happy birthday, you old goat. The you're the goat, greatest of all time. I got you a cake, but I ate it. A little opened can and way to goat with, this is the other goat that's in there. Super cute little stamp set. And let me get this out of the way. And next we're gonna bring in Have you guys seen this cute fruit? Stinking adorable. I absolutely love this stamp set. I've made a couple different cards with it. I'm gonna share one of them with you and I will probably share the other one at another time. Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, oh, I know what I was gonna do. grab one of these brochures. I think I've shown you this brochure. This is our beginner brochure, but it's got some neat projects in here. And there it is, cute fruit. Some really cute tags in here, some super cute cards. These go great with our um, classic stamp and Spot assortment. Let me see, where is that at? Right here. You get all of these different ink spots in one package. Yeah, so that's another really cute little item. This is called Cute Fruit, and I'm pretty sure this is the only place where you'll find this stamp set. It's not in our big catalog. Okay, so let's move our goat card off to the side. Set this back here. 
and we're gonna get out our pieces. So I've got another really quick and easy card for you. I've really been into the smaller front layers of white and then a black mat because, I don't know, that just always grabs me. So this time we're going to use Melon Mambo and this is eight and a half by five and a half. I was just trying to look at some of the comments. I gotta take a drink. What are you guys drinking tonight? I am not drinking margaritas. <laughs> I've got my strawberry lemonade, which I love. Okay, little piece of white. And again, I forgot to write down my dimensions, so let me tell you what that is. Oh, I had these little um, three quarters by four inch piece. I didn't actually use it, but if you want to, you could. Oh, that'll be cute. Let's put that right at the top, because I stamped the goat at the bottom. Not a sheep, but a goat. Let's put that right up here at the top, and that'll just be a nice little embellishment on the inside layer of our card. That looks pretty cute, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to our fruit. So this white layer is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. And then this piece is going to be five by three and three quarters basic black. Ma Mango Melody card base, and here we go. So we're gonna be using Mango Melody and Granny Apple Green. Put this in here, there we go. Ooh, this looks like, I used this particular card that I'm gonna show you for swap cards. So I am going to grab my reinker because it looks like this middle could use a little reinkering. So if you've never reinked your ink pads, this is how I do it. I'm sure there's different ways to do it, but this works good for me. Anytime you order an ink pad, you always want to order the reinker. If you don't order it with the pad, put it on your list for next time because like here's what's happened to me. I've left my ink pad open by accident and it gets kind of dry and then I want to use it and I have no reinker and that makes me very not happy. Angry might be a better word. <laughs> like, I'm kicking myself. So I've just got a plastic spoon here. I just push the ink in and wipe it off with a baby wipe, and that stays right underneath my desk. Okay, here we go. So we are going to be using the Cutie Patootie Little Pineapples. First thing I want to do here is, well, hmm, let's see. First thing we're going to do is stamp our words. Because I know of the placement here, I think if we stamp our words first, that's going to be the best bet. So I'm going to take these words that say, I couldn't ask for a sweeter friend, and I love that this set is photopolymer, right? Oh, that's crooked, and I smeared it. Because you can see through it. Much better. Okay. And then, let's close that up so I don't have any accidents. Now I'm going to take my pineapple and my mango melody. I'm going to stamp my pineapple right in the middle first. Look at how vibrant that is. Here comes the next one. And one more. Oh, love it. Okay. Get that out of the way. We're gonna bring in our Granny Apple Green for the crown. Did you? Are you guys impressed that I remembered that about pineapples? Yeah. Remember we had the Tropical Oasis suite of products and I had to ask what the top of a pineapple is called because I didn't know. Okay, there we go. There's the crown. Now, cutest little thing in the stamp set, we have all these little faces. Little faces. Aren't they cute? So we're gonna use one of those little faces. Oops. And we are going to make happy pineapples. I love happy fruit, right? Yay, super cute. Okay, well not last but not least. I was gonna say last but not least, I'm gonna bring in my bow jig. Now, if you guys don't have one of these, they're fabulous. If you can get the nails out the end, hang on. There we go. 
You shouldn't pull on them with your teeth. Don't do that. <laughs> like I just did, right? <clears throat> but, okay, I am going to, oh, let me show you this. This is our Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. And it's got some red stitched ribbon in it and also this black and white baker's twine. I was so excited to see black and white striped baker's twine again. So I'm just going to tie a tiny little bow. Oh, I was saying, if you don't have one of these bow jigs, I do have a video on my YouTube channel that tells you how you can make one and how to tie this bow. I kind of did that backwards, but um, there's a video that'll show you exactly how to do that. Where's my scissors? Right here. Oh, I see Kathy Larson is drinking Pepsi. That was my nectar of the gods, let me tell you. I loved my Pepsi. I haven't had Pepsi since last year. Yeah, it's, it's a sad situation. <laughs> okay, mini glue dot. Now, since we're using Baker's Twine, I like to take and curl up my mini glue dot so I don't see it sticking out from behind. Such a small piece of string, right? I don't want a big glue dot sticking out there. Okay, and I think I'm gonna trim this off just a little bit. There you go. Okay, on to the black. I love that really thin little margin and then watch when we put it on our oh I kind of did this crooked you guys hang on let me see if I can get it straightened out you can kind of force it back together if you folded it crooked oh perfect okay good deal and then I think I'm going to raise this up on some dimensionals I've got my black dimensionals here these come in a combo pack with large and small so you get little baby dimensionals in black and also these big ones, which I've already used up my whole sheet, so now I'm gonna use those edges. Don't, don't throw your edges away. Those are good for things. There we go, we have one. Oh, here's another one, yeah. And I think I'll put one right in the middle just for a little bit of support. Get the backings off. I love that you can see when the backings come off, right? When the white on white, it's kind of hard to see. Okay, here comes our cute little card. And one more thing. We've got some of these Artistry Blooms sequins. Let me see if we can get them out of the package gonna manhandle them a little bit there we go okay Whew. we are going to take one of these big ones and we'll put that whoops right there and then I'm gonna grab one of these little pink ones and put that right up there and then how about one of these mango ones I'll put that right over here, and that just adds a tiny little bit of glitz. What do you guys think? Is that not stinking adorable? So, we have goat cards tonight and happy fruit. And I loved that this was my lineup for tonight because I've really been into my flowers lately and pretty colors and summer, and this just kind of reminds me of summer and pretty and fun and yeah. I don't know. You know, I don't understand how my mind works. <laughs> but that's where I went. I'm like, oh, I have some very pretty summery cards to make. I guess a goat with a flower is kind of summery, right? I guess. I think so. Whew. Thank you, Elaine. Thank you, Debbie. I thought they were super cute. And they're really quick and easy, too. Once you have this die cut, the cards are super simple. Okay, let's see. I gotta get my stamps out of the way here. I have a bunch of thank you cards. I got some really pretty mail this week, you guys, that I wanna share with you. So if you wanna stick around, I am going to do that. Let me get some of this stuff out of my way. Here we 
we go. Close that up. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way. All the things, right? We gotta get all the things picked up and out of the way. Now, I will not be having a blog post tonight for this, but I will get one up tomorrow sometime. Um, if you missed me at the beginning, we had kind of a little snafu today with Val, and she was not feeling well, I guess. She was crying a lot, so Haley had to go home, and that means that I get to make swaps tonight. Oh, and I forgot about the Stampin' Society tutorial. Totally my fault, but I also have to get that in tonight. So, I will not be taking photographs and making a blog post for this tonight, but I will do it tomorrow, as soon as I have things under control again. <laughs> it sounds like I'm kind of like a control freak, like everything needs to be under control. I'm Well, I am kind of a control freak. I just don't like to not fulfill my obligations. That's what I should say. I am a woman of my word. Okay, we have beautiful mail. So, here we go. This first one is from my new friend, Susan Hine. She is from Grafton, Wisconsin, and look at how cute this is. Yeah, this is that dinosaur paper, and I love the little sequence she put in here. And she wanted to share this with me. Now, she and her group of people make quilts for veterans and then they make cards and donate them with the quilts that they donate and oh my gosh what a fabulous fabulous cause right beautiful cute little card love this thank you Susan and then I thought this was really unique and creative look at this all these little squares I love them this card is from Cynthia Motley and um she said, I deserve a month of Jubilee. Happy birthday. Thank you so much. I love the black and white with the rich razzleberry and the poppy paper and all the different textures. She put these through the coastal weave embossing folder. So isn't that just so unique? I love it. Beautiful card. And then from Susan Hine, look at this. Look at all. Oh, I'll cover up her address. Look at this. All these 4th of July stickers. Isn't that fun? So in my family, we love July because July 1st is Haley's birthday. And it used to be my dad. Well, it's still my dad's birthday, but he's gone now. So Haley and my dad celebrated on July 1st. Their birthdays was on the 1st. My wedding anniversary is on July 4th. So Steve and I went to Las Vegas and got married on the 4th of July 20 million years ago. <laughs> Then my birthday is June 7th, and my brother Jeff's birthday is, or I mean July 7th. Did I say June before? I mean July. July 7th, and then my brother Jeff's birthday is July 11th, and then I have another uncle that has a July birthday. So we got lots of July stuff going on in our family. Okay, so here we go. This is called The Quiet Quilters Honoring Veterans with Homemade Quilts. And, um, yeah, so shh. Susan put out a request to me if I had anything I would like to donate to their cause of making cards for to donate with their veterans and it couldn't have come at a better time. So I ran down to Grafton, Wisconsin, dropped off a whole bunch of stuff and her and her stamper friends are having a blast with it and she sent me this little card that she made with one of the kits that I donated to her. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Very, very cute. So, Susan, thank you so much. I love your cards. Here's the card I was telling you about that Heather Kohler sent me. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Oh, my gosh. All made with punches. Love the red, white, and blue is, is um, embossed with some stars. Happy 4th of July. Heather, thank you so much. This is just adorable. Love that. And then, look at how cool this is. I love that designer series paper over there with this big greeting. And you guys know I like big greetings, right? Yeah, that's pretty cool. This is from Nicole Crawford of Ottawa, Minnesota. And she's thanking me for the Detailed with Love stamp set and the Kling adhesive sample that I sent her. Yay! You're very, very welcome, Nicole. Thank you for that pretty card. Okay, then, let's see. Oh, I have this one from Robin, Robin Stewart. 
And look at how cool this is. Hang on a second. Thinking of you, and then look at this. Whoa, look at how neat that is. I love that inside, and Robin, of course, knew that I would love that inside. So, she actually sent along the dimensions for it. I think we'll be making this in the near future. This is called a center pop-out card, and I think that is so cool. Maybe we'll make it with the pineapples, or maybe with the goats. I don't know, but I'm going to keep this together. She also sent me an envelope to fit this size card if I wanted to use it, which I thought was really sweet, too. Here we go. Thank you so much, Robin. That was just really cool. Then Joanne Prosser sent me this beautiful card. And this, these, these leaves, these feathers are um, embossed. They're embossed with embossing powder. And then they've got color on them. So I don't know if she took her Stampin' Blend marker and colored a little bit of that embossing powder. I'm not quite sure. But this is really very pretty. And she sent me along a little note to say thank you for entertaining everybody while they were quarantined. And you guys are so sweet. Like, I've gotten so many cards for that. Um, it just really made me feel good that I was providing so much entertainment for you guys. Because I know the quarantine was hard. It was harder on some than others. So I was just really grateful that I was available to do that. And I had a blast. Okay, this came in the mail. This is so sweet. Look at this. This is from Leona Needham, and she says to Valerie Lee, who from Leona, who watches your grandma make cards, I didn't make this one, but I hope your mom and dad like it. Hugs from Connecticut. Look at how cute that is. It has Val and her um, birth date. This is like a photograph that can be framed. It says, may you touch dragonflies and stars, dance with fairies, and talk to the moon. May you grow up with love and gracious hearts and people who care. Welcome to the world, little one. It's been waiting for you. How sweet is that? I love this. Welcome to the world, little one. It's been waiting for you. How sweet is that? I love these dragonflies. So, Leona, thank you so much. I showed this to Haley when she was over, and she thought it was just the sweetest thing ever so nice okay now look what I got in the mail I got two collapsible scrap bins you guys these are so cool these were donated look at that bonk yeah so you put these on your table or if you like go on retreats and stuff you can push them flat and pack them in with your stuff and then you have your own little trash bin yeah or you could fill it with snacks. No, I'm just kidding. Trash bin. Boom. I, can you tell I like to play with these? Yeah, I know. <laughs> just like a child, right? Okay, so I got two of them. I will be giving those away in drawings in the near future. This was our latest paper pumpkin kit. And hang on a second. Let me grab my other cards that I made. Oh, here's one of them. This was one of the... Oh, I don't have the other one here right right by me. This was one of my alternate ideas using the Box of Sunshine June Paper Pumpkin Kit. Isn't that pretty? Well, actually, this is Haley's design with the paper weaving. She did it. And it was funny, too, because when I went to do my video for the blog hop, I always do a video with a paper pumpkin blog hop. When I went to do my video, I didn't know how to do this. <laughs> like, I messed it up the first time and he had to start over because Haley designed it and then left. She left me to fend for myself with this card. Can you believe that? Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, this was her design. Now, back to our, pro our, our gifts. So this comes to me from Nancy Clark of Wheaton, Illinois. Look at how cool that is. Just a very simple card. I love these sunshines. And she said she hopes that I'm enjoying my hot weather. She said she's a spring full, fall girl herself. So I'm, to, I'm sure today she's absolutely miserable. But she said she saw these and thought of me and Haley. And are you ready for this? Look at this giant bag of Sour Patch Kids. Red, white, and blue. And now I need popcorn, Nancy, and a good movie. <laughs> 
that whole giant thing and sent these collapsible trash bins to give away. And um, yeah, thank you so much, Nancy. This was just a, I laughed when I opened the envelope. I'm like, oh my Lord, look at all the sour patches. Haley, we need to have a movie night. <laughs> so trashy TV. Haley and I, oh, I think I'm, I think that's all the mail. I'm going to flip you around. So if you get motion sickness, close your eyes for a second. I'll try not to delete you or make this quit. But anyways, so you guys know that I'm a trashy TV girl. And when I say that, I mean that I like like reality TV. So Haley and I have been um, watching Alone. Who watches Alone? Like it's a show on the History Channel and they take 10 people and dump them like on Vancouver Island in like five miles apart from each other and they leave them alone until the last person taps out or there's one person left, the second to last taps out and then the person left wins a big amount of money. Alone it's called and now Haley and I are obsessed and here's the deal. Amazon, you can watch season one and season two. But after that, you have to buy the seasons. And I was thinking, like, maybe they're $12, and maybe I would actually buy the season. But no, they're $20, and I have to think hard about that. Oh, and Tanya's Addicted to Yellowstone. Yeah, that's a good one, too. I've watched that. It's waiting for me. The, the, the third season is waiting for me on my DVR. So, um, but anyways, Trash TV, if you guys like reality TV, it's also pretty decent. Kids can watch it. There, it's a... It's a network station, so there's not a lot of bad language or anything. I mean, every once in a while somebody says damn or something when they hit their thumb or whatever. But it's not like vulgar or anything. So, yeah, and um, Lisa, she loves Yellowstone, too. And Ruth watches alone. There we go, Ruth. Yeah, so I just finished season two. And I'm also watching the current season because it's on our TV. You didn't show my goat card. No, Haley, I didn't show your goat card. Do you want me to show your goat card? Let me show. It's right here. Haley made a goat card. You guys want to see it? It's pretty stinking adorable. Hang on, I got a mirror in my screen. Let me do this. There we go. Ready? Oh, this is so cute. Yeah. Isn't it adorable? Yeah. Is there anything on the inside? No. Look how. Look at all the beautiful coloring she did. And that's all three goats. What do you guys think? Isn't that adorable? Oh, Rhonda says she lost my address. I think Lisa just posted it. But if anybody wants my address, because my birthday is coming up. <laughs> it's 738 De Pere Street. D-E-P-E-R-E. -E -E, Menasha, Wisconsin. 54952. And it's been set a time or two that I like cards. I know. New information. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this was Haley's card <clears throat> that she designed. Isn't that just the sweetest? Yeah. I love her coloring. She did really good. Those goats are adorable. So we've got this. We've got this. I also have another goat card that I made, but I'm going to save that for another Facebook Live, right? element of surprise and then this guy guys these happy guys the happy pineapples so um let's see and next week so what do I have going on this week Wednesday I will have a tip video I don't know what my tip is gonna be but I'll figure something out <laughs> And then I need to release that Artistry Blooms class so you guys can start ordering that. The cards are beautiful. They're beautiful. And then, I don't know what else is happening this week. Oh! <gasps> July 1st is Wednesday. Oh, okay, so that's not tomorrow. Oh, I was gonna panic. We're going out for lunch on Wednesday for Haley's birthday. But I, I have to have my Stamping Society tutorial done tonight because July 1st it goes live. So watch for that. We are using the Flowers for Every Season suite. And we can use the, the jar flowers. 
We can use the jar flowers or the sunflower flowers. And I'm going to be using the sunflower flowers because I've already done some projects with the jar flowers I showed you. So there's going to be a blog hop on Wednesday for Haley's birthday. <laughs> and um, then I have anybody who places an order with me in the month of July will get the private video tutorial with six different projects using the flowers for every season suite of products or you can buy it for seven dollars so don't worry if you are out of the country you can still get the tutorial if you would like it so there you go oh and I just took off my comments there we go oh my gosh my phone has is so behind and yeah Linda's talking about a pre-order for the mini catalog on Wednesday that's a demonstrator thing so a lot of people here won't be able to participate in that. That's another thing that if you join my team and order that discount shopper kit, tomorrow's the last day to get the free bundle, you get to pre-order from the holiday mini catalog on Wednesday. Yeah, pretty exciting, right? Oh, and Cindy said her son was born on the 4th of July. <clears throat> She's got a ton of birthdays in July also. Yeah, it's a busy month for us. And I ordered Haley's um, birthday present, but it won't be here until Thursday. I'm not a bad mom. She didn't get me the link early enough. So it's on you, Haley Jade. <laughs> I am not taking it for that one. <laughs> I am not getting a mom fail for that one. <laughs> okay, you guys. I think we're done here. Yep, it's been a little bit over an hour. And Cindy says, Haley, enjoy your birthday week. We always enjoy our birthday weeks. Do you know that we have a special tiara for birthdays? Haley, don't forget to take it home tomorrow because I expect you to wear it every place on Wednesday. That's the rule. <laughs> okay, you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Monday evening. Thank you so much for allowing me or for tuning in tonight. And um, I, I hated to disappoint everybody last night, but I knew it was something that I needed to do. So it was fun doing the party. I'll share some pictures from the party. We had a whole bunch of people here. There was lots of dads and lots of celebrating and <gasps> amazing food. We had um, pineapple chicken shish kebabs. That's what you call them, right? On the stick, yeah. Corn on the cob, pasta salad. I made pretzel strawberry jello and um, cheesy hash browns. And we had all kinds of snacky doodles and ice cream dilly bars from Dairy Queen. It was just a whole day of fun. So I'm, I'm really glad that you guys understood. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Um, I don't know about next Sunday. This weekend is 4th of July. We haven't made plans yet. I don't know if we're going to make plans. So if I'm home, I will be live and I'll let you guys know. If I'm not going to be home, maybe I'll do a pre-recorded Facebook Live and post it at 7 p.m. Sunday night. I'll try to do that. We'll see how my week goes. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget, if you need to place any orders, I always appreciate your orders. Um, share this video. Give me a thumbs up. Click on that like button. If you're watching later on YouTube, please share my video. Click on that subscribe button so you don't miss anything coming out in the future. And have a great one. Stay cool if you're in a place that's hot because it is hot here. Bye-bye, <laughs> you guys. Have a good one.